time for another episode of The Get Up. What's The Get Up? The Get Up is a slingshot. It's a chance for you to pull back your day and launch you into a brand new adventure with motivation, encouragement, and actionable steps that you can apply to the goals you care about the most. Today, I want to tell you how to build an epic running playlist. I ran a thousand miles last year, all all at once. I just went out the front door like Forrest Gump and I had so many things to work through in my head. I just kept going. I kept going, kept going. Didn't return home until my shoes caught on fire from just the constant friction. Now, actually, it took me the entire year. I finished on December 18th, right at the wire. And I hit the goal. I've also run six or seven half marathons and one of my proudest goals, one that means the most to me, one that I'd love some compliments about in the comments of this video um, is that I've never run a triathlon. That's been one of my goals. I have always wanted to never run a triathlon and I'm crushing that goal. I'm 44 and 0 on that goal. Like I'm doing it. Can you believe how I've been able to accomplish not doing that? Oh, that's great. I think I would like all three activities separately. I think that it's their combined that kind of freaks me out a little bit. I don't like the idea that I have to be super wet and then transition into super tight bike clothing. Have you ever tried to put on bike clothing, even just dry? Like now imagine you're doing it after swimming a few miles, elbowing strangers in a lake, and then you have to get dressed. Like tomorrow morning after your shower, just jump out, go right to your backyard and try to put on like a really tight spandex onesie as your neighbors yell at you. That's what it feels like to me. So I'm, I feel pretty good but I do love running. And one of my favorite parts is putting together a great playlist, a playlist that'll encourage me, that'll push me forward, that'll make sure I cross the finish line. So I'm gonna tell you my five keys to a great playlist. Number one, start with a slow song. That feels counterintuitive, I know, but here's what happens. A lot of times at the beginning of the race, you're hyped, you're amped. Everybody's jumping around you. Like there's all these nervous runners, like doing weird stretches. Like the guy next to you has a, his foot above his head. Like he's stretching his foot and it's just right here. And you're like, that guy is very flexible. And the announcer is like, we're going in five minutes. It's going to be amazing. And you get really hyped and you get really amped. And then you come out in that first mile and you overrun. You run too fast and you get exhausted and you burn too much energy right out of the gate. So one thing that runners do is they start with a slow song. What does that look like? Well, for me, it looks like saying, okay, if I'm doing a 5K, I need at least three minutes of slow music at the beginning. Give me a chance to ease in. Mentally tell myself, hey, it's going to be all right. Like, take your time. Let's run our race. Go at your pace. If I'm running like a half marathon, I'll have 10 minutes of slow music. The song that I used for my last half marathon was by John Hopkins and it's called Immunity. And it is so, so chill. It's impossible to run too fast to that song. And then I'll transition into faster music, but you want to start with something that's slow. Number two, the number two thing you need to do is collect songs for weeks and weeks and weeks. A lot of people make the mistake of trying to come up with their playlist the night before. The night before the race, they try to gather a bunch of songs and end up with the same three ACDC songs and the same three Eminem songs. And they go, I have a, I have a six song playlist. That's, that's amazing. No, you want to gather songs weeks ahead of time because it's hard the night before when you're nervous, when you're stressed about the race to really focus on it. You want to be quietly, slowly gathering songs going, oh, I like that one. I'm going to add it to my playlist. And you can do it on a note in your phone. You can do it on Spotify. You can do it on Apple. It doesn't matter. Just start collecting songs. Don't wait until the last second. Number three, pick music that's at least 17% angrier than you would normally listen to. Why? You're going to need some angry music when the race is tough. Towards the end, when you're trying to push through, you're not going to want happy, positive music. You're not going to want, like, Vanessa Carlton, like, making my way downtown. Like, you're going to want some sort of crazy rage, go, go, go song that pushes you forward. And you have to go beyond what you'd normally listen to. If you saw my playlist right now, you'd go, wow, you really have some aggressive rap. Like, I had no idea. I won't even share it because I just don't want the judgment. I don't want the emails about what I listened to towards the end of the race, but I need to know that I've got some angry songs ready. I've got some really aggressive songs that are gonna push me past where I normally am. Number four, number four key to building an epic running playlist is make sure you build the playlist longer than the race. You need to have extra songs. My last race, 
half marathon I did in one hour and 49 minutes. And my playlist was two and a half hours long. Why did I do it that way? Because I knew that some of the songs weren't going to be great in the moment. I wanted to collect a bunch of songs. And then if I'm running and I hear a Hamilton song that normally I love, but I'm just, I can't do a musical right now, I want to be able to skip it. I want to be able to skip any song that doesn't hit me the right way. And I didn't want to run out of songs before I ran out of road. So you always want your playlist to be longer than you actually need it. So build a longer playlist. The last one, step number five, is mix genres. Mix the genres up. Listen to things you normally wouldn't listen to. Every genre has at least one song that will inspire you and encourage you. Well, okay, what about jazz? What did I say at the beginning? Put a jazz song on. Put Miles Davis at the beginning. Have him trumpeting your way till you start the race. That's perfect. What about country? Right now you're going, oh, I don't like country. I promise you there's some sort of song about a lake and a truck that will inspire you. If you looked at my playlist, you'd be surprised at how many different genres are on it. So you might go, okay, wow. You've got Nas, like he's a rapper. You've got a Nas and, and Diddy, Puff Daddy, whatever his name is currently song. Okay, the next one is Muse, and they're, they're rock. The next one is Citizen Cope, and he's more indie singer-songwriter. The next one is the Chemical Brothers, and they're more techno. You need to mix the genres so that you have a huge array of songs to pick from. If you say, okay, I'm only going to have rock, you're going to run out. You're going to look at rock and go, Wow, I have 11 songs. You want to mix the genre so you have a huge selection you can pick from. That's how I build my playlist. And I love listening to music as I run. I love listening to music as I exercise. And maybe for you right now, you're like, you know what? I don't do that when I run. I don't do that when I exercise. But when I have a big meeting and I need to run into that building and be excited about it, I listen to these three songs before I go in. I'd love to know what's your number one most motivational song. Like throw it in the comments. I want to expand my playlist. I'm curious, what are you listening to that gets you excited, that gets you amped? I love to build epic playlists and I hope you do too. Thanks for watching today. Please, please, please make sure you hit that bell. That's the big one. Hit the bell. I've never said that before. A friend said, hey, why don't you tell people to hit the bell? And I said, I don't is there a bell? And he said, yeah, there's a bell and it's important. It means you won't miss the next video. So hit that bell, hit like, make sure you subscribe, and I'll keep making these as long as you watch them.